Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this week we're going to be starting my introductions to my new Mother's Day cup files, um, which I'll show in the top left corner. Um, this pack on my Etsy shop contains three different layered cut files, um, and today I'll be going through two of those examples. The first one we're going to go through is the um, Mom Heart with Banner. Um, so I've pre-cut all the pieces for it and I will show you how to assemble it. Um, but I'm also going to be using some honeybee stamps paper from the Harvest Festival pack. It looks a, a little bit like a burlap and I will be cutting this panel down as the background for this. Um, this cut file was inspired by an image I saw on uh, Pinterest. It was like a printable card from Zavo, which I will also uh, show in the top left corner and link below if I can find it um, but it's basically kind of like that vintage tattoo that sailors would get or whatever um, with you know mom on the banner um, so we're gonna be doing a bit of uh, Copic coloring just to give this some dimension instead of cutting the banner out of different colored cardstocks again I like to cut in white and color them after um, so these are the three pieces of the banner. Um, this is the back one. The center one is this one with the two tips on it. These ones are kind of like your shadow layers. And then this is the top layer. So if you're going to cut them, I would cut the back one in a mid-tone gray, the middle one in a dark tone gray, and then the um, front one either in white or like a very, very light gray or if you want to do tan colors. Same thing, um, the middle one is the one, the one you want to be darkest because it is the inside of the ribbon that's closest to the heart. Um, so I'm going to color those with some Copic markers and I'm just going to add a bit of shading to them. I'll just bring out my laminated sheet and I'll start with the back one. I think I'm going to use warm tones today. So I'll get my warm gray one, zero, and two. I don't want to go too dark. Uh, it's always it's good to start off light and then go darker. So I'll start off with the one. And I'm just going to um, flick my marker out from this edge down. Going a little bit further here. And then I'm probably going to take a colorless blender marker. This one's an art and fly one. I have a whole bunch of different ones, but I'm just gonna help blend that out a little bit. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Just on a flicking motion. And then for this middle portion, I'm not going to ink blend the whole thing just because I don't want the layers to show from below. I'm actually only going to ink up this portion here. And this is my warm gray too. You can go a little bit further up if you're worried about it showing. It should be okay though. Um, and then for this one, I'm just going to use my warm gray. Zero, zero, and just do the edges of it. And this will just make it so that it's not so flat. Gives it some dimension. Um, and I'm probably just gonna go up to the curve and then keep this middle open. And then I'll take one that out as well. This goes this way. So the curves are a little bit different, so they are easy to line up. This one has a bit more of a sharper turn in, whereas this one almost comes straight down. I 
do like how pink this one is. The warm gray is a little bit on the pinky tone. Um, I'm gonna take the one. Make sure you get these points so that they don't stick up. Okay, and if you wanted to do just the two layers, you could do that. You could just like color, be carefully color in these tips and then um, blink blend this if you didn't want as much dimension. But I like the three layers because it just like gives it that little extra. So I'm going to keep this as separate. Okay, and then I think it'll, yeah, it'll go on the heart this way, so the more pointy end will come down um, because it comes further on the edge over here. And this one like lines up with the heart perfectly, you just kind of have to like maneuver it around a little bit until you get to that angle where it sits. Perfect. Um, so am I going to add a bit of glue here? Actually, <coughs> first I'm going to ink blend. Mm, actually, I'll use a bit of a Copic marker, and I think I'm gonna come in around all the edges. So I'm just flicking from the outside in. That should be a bit smoother. I'm gonna like let this dry for a minute um, and then I'll cut that background portion down. <coughs> so I'm gonna cut this down to three and three quarters. No, I'm gonna do it three and yeah, three and three quarters by five. And then I'll save these for another project. And then I think that will be good for this. I'm just gonna lay it out. Hmm. The banner blends in a little bit too much, I think. I don't have a shadow layer for this right now, but I think I'm gonna add it to the pack after because um, I would probably use that right now. But for the time being, I think I'm gonna take some vintage photo distress oxide ink and um, just put like a little bit of a halo on the back just to give it some contrast. That helps it 
stand out a little bit more. Um, so now I'm gonna glue this to the heart. Okay, and then that will go in the center. I'm gonna prop this up on some foam tape too. <clears throat> this is Big Mama foam tape. But everything is not Okay, and then we have this mom text that just gets put down in the middle. Um, if you don't like this text and you have um, a stamp that you'd like to like put in here, that's fine. Uh, I just put like a simple scripty mom in here. And it does follow the curve as long as you center it. So I'm just making sure that that center of the O here is lined up with this. Okay. Um, and then I'll glue it to a card I think I might add a few sequins on here as well. With it, just see what you like. Sometimes it takes a bit. I could spend like a ton of time just trying to place gems all over the place. Some days. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna put some glossy accents on the mom just to make it a little shiny and stand out a little bit more. I could have put multiple layers of the cardstock if I wanted to, but. Try to get as many air bubbles out first. But I think this will work. And then we'll just have to wait for it to, to dry before I can take photos. It goes on milky, but it like turns out clear. It does have a bit of a yellow tinge to it if you are putting it on something that's white. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that if you're wanting it to be fully clear. There might be some other options out there. I think that should be okay. Just gonna tap it a bit. It's very uneven. So I'm gonna take this pen and move it around a bit. So I'll let that dry and then you'll see the photos at the end when I'm done. And I'm just going to clean up this mess so I can start the next one. Okay, my space is all cleaned and we're going to start the next card. Um, so this one is going to be a donut mom card. Um, so again, I've pre-cut all the pieces that I need. Um, I even did the mats and everything. I'm going to do it on a white card base. Um, I cut this panel to three and three quarters by five as well as the last one and then I cut this one down an eighth of an inch smaller and we're going to be making our own pattern paper um, with a stamp from CC Designs. I'm going to use this little donut. Um, I did some tests with colors and I think I'm going to do, this is Mon Fon's Ballet Slipper and then this is raspberry but this is raspberry it's the second generation stamping so i stamped this and then stamp this right after i think i like that one a bit better this one's a little bit too dark i don't want it to take over this one could work um but i like the tone of the second generation of the raspberry because it goes with this um, pink glitter cardstock i got from scrapbook.com which i showed in my 
uh, March 2023 haul. Um, so I think I'll do it that way. Well, I'm gonna stamp the whole background with that stamp. Um, and then uh, included with the cut file pack are these two sentiments. And it says, I do not know what I would do without you. And I have it with both the black um, with the white text and then the white background with the black text and I printed a couple of them because I have crafty sale coming up So I'm probably gonna make a couple of these for Mother's Day and then I'll just do the donuts and Icing different colors. You don't even need to do the icing if you don't want to you could always um, Do different colored donuts you could do chocolate ones vanilla ones whatever you want But I, white icing pink icing I put glitter icing on this one um whatever you want um and then you could also if you didn't want the hole there um you could alter the cut file to take that hole out um or you could like freehand cut your own icing or you could add your own sprinkles with um enamel dots or um the like stickles or whatever kind of like liquid embellishments you have um so today I uh, cut two sh layers of the shadow layer, um, one of the black, um, and then I cut two layers of the donut just so that it gets a bit more dimension. And then for this, I wanted an extra layer under the icing as well so that it is also dimension off the donut. But uh, instead of cutting two layers of the gr glitter, obviously, you don't want to waste a glitter, and it's very thin, it's like glitter paper, it's not glitter cardstock. Um, so I cut another layer in pink just because I didn't want it to be white around it. I know this is like white backing on the glitter, but just to give it um, less visible white around the edges, um, I cut it in pink and then it will just go there. And then this you can rotate it however you want the icing to go. It's very just like an uneven blob of icing, so I like it so that the, this points down. Um, and then I think I'm going to use the black with the white text for this one and I'll make it go across the entire card. So let's just get started with the assembly of this first. our mom donut image ready to go so now we'll work on the background and I'm just gonna work on this white piece of cardstock I'm gonna get my raspberry ink ready and I'm gonna get okay. this will be my like scratch paper so I'll ink it up stamp it off and then stamp it off onto here Okay, and then I'm just gonna repeat that over and over. Hey, and that's our donut background. That looks so cute. Um, if you wanted to make two backgrounds at once, you could. You could stamp these off onto another sheet um, and save it for a later card, but um, 
probably won't be doing this colorway again. I like to do one-off cards. I don't like to make all my cards the same. Um, so like I'll do this same layout, the same sentiments and whatever multiple times, but then I'll do them in different colorways so that no two cards are exactly the same. That's just the way I like to work. I don't mass produce um, the same card over and over again in the same colorways. I like everyone to get their own like one of a kind card. So yeah, that's super cute. And then we'll put um, the black sentiment right across this. And then I think I'll go to the edges of the card itself. So I'll put this on the card first. And then I'll probably prop that up on foam tape as well. And that little bit of glitter is just the perfect amount, um, which I noticed when I was doing my card the other day during that crafty haul. Um, I like that there's not too much, just a touch of glitter. Um, so the 1 16th inch border is perfect for me. The 1 8th inch, which would be a little bit wider, is too much. Um, in these cases, maybe some other cards in the future I'll do a thicker glitter border, but I think this is just like that perfect amount and it just ties in with the icing on the mob sentiment. So now I will cut out the strips. So when I um, created this file, I made it so that it was like six inches long, just so, because if you do it five and a half, somebody's printer might mess it up, or your card base might not be exactly five and a half, it might be like five and a half plus a little bit, so um, I made sure it was a little bit longer. I think that's a good spot for it. I'm not going to color the edges of this too. I have a cool great paint marker from the dollar store which might match better. It's not 100% black. It is black on the file itself but my printer didn't print a super saturated black so the C8 for this works perfectly fine. And I'm not gonna do the ends. Um, it's good. Uh, okay I'm gonna Okay, and that uh, shadow later helps um, the mom stand out from the printed background. Just still a little busy, I think. Maybe I should have gone a bit lighter, but I think it's still cute. Uh, that's our second card for today and the last one. So I'll be back next week uh, for the last one. And I will show you how to put that one together. That one's my favorite one of the three. Um, so I'm super excited to show you guys that one. Um, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and let me know what you think. Uh, hope you all have a great day. Bye!